Hello, it's Bill again, or someone similar to him, I don't know. But today I had a great idea. Um, we were talking about what do you, you know, what do you do, like, kind of like, pic not a picnic, but, and, you know, like a cookout kind of thing that'd be a little different. <clears throat> you know, uh, people get tired of the steaks, burgers, fried, or hot dogs and all that stuff. So <clears throat> I want to put this together, and there are a couple reasons I came up with this. Um, I just think it's got a lot more kind of, you know, depth flavor, fun to it, and it also tastes really good. <clears throat> I've never made it before. This is kind of like my sample thing. Um, I've made fish tacos, but these are shrimp tacos. So the first thing you do is you make a, uh, like a drizzle sauce. It's a citrus sauce. So it's a half a cup of sour cream, third a cup of mayo, two tablespoons of lime juice, that's the citrus. And I always put a big whopping tablespoon of this gochujang uh, Korean chili sauce in. This stuff is the bomb. It's hot and sweet. It's just, it's just amazing. It goes really well, just as a little drizzle on top. You can actually make it like as hot as you want. Um, just put more in. So, I recommend it. Alright, so we got our sauce all made. And if you want to have a lot of fun, just get yourself a little squirt bottle, you know, any any big chain store has these or wherever you want. They come in different sizes depending on how you know, much you're going to make. So uh, you just pour it in here and then everyone just goes do 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 and have a lot of fun with it. Um, if you have two of these, you could actually make one version like kind of mild for, you know, scare people. And one you can put a little extra stuff in there and make them really think. Alright, so biggest thing about when you're making any kind of, to me, a wrap or something, you got to have all this flavor stuff going on. So I have this coleslaw recipe, and it's really funny because every time my daughter makes it, she she uh, texts me because she just she's loved it ever since I kind of showed her how it works. So I'm, I'm making a really small amount because I'm just making one to try to make sure I'm on the right track so I don't change a whole bunch of stuff and throw a bunch of stuff away. But I start with, I've got like a quarter cup of mayonnaise in the bottom here. And I'm going to take some red onion. Probably need just... And I like having red onion because when we put the, the, like the cabbage mixture in, it, it can wilt really quickly. So you still want something crunchy in there. So I'm probably going to put about a quarter cup of that in there. I got one jalapeno that I chopped up real fine. So the th thing about jalapenos, I don't want a lot of seeds in there. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the seeds out. I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut both ends off. Split it down the middle. Cut the uh, cut the seeds out. But you know, if you leave a little vein, it the white part inside it, it keeps it keeps some of the heat. That's the way I like it. So if you, if you don't like heat, just cut that out and it's going to be kind of just a flavorful jalapeno. I mean, uh, green pepper. Then what do I have? I'm going to put in about a tablespoon of red wine vinegar. And so this is the seasoning to it, all right? So I've got literally a quarter teaspoon of celery seed, a teaspoon of chili powder, and a teaspoon of cumin. I, I just like that. Now, I, I, someone asked this, to, I was in the grocery store the other day and someone asked me about celery seed. It has nothing to do with celery. Uh, it's actually a plant, it's, similar, it's from the parsley family, okay? So it's not a substitution thing here. That's why I, I made a recipe the other day and it had both and people were like, why do you use both? I mean, it's totally different. All right, so we're gonna put that in here. And I like the color it gives to it. Now I need some black pepper. Get that out of my way. I got myself just a little bit of cilantro. Um, I think I like cilantro. I know that a lot of people are like, oh, I hate cilantro. Uh, you can leave it out. That's fine. 
And if you're afraid, you know, if you've got a big group and people you don't know, um, you can leave it out. Alright, so now we're going to start mixing. And I, <clears throat> I don't want to have a whole lot of mayo in here. I want to keep it kind of on the dry side. Like I said, the uh, coleslaw is going to wilt a little bit. Alright, so last but not least, I like a little Frank it up Frank sauce. Frank's hot sauce. So we're just going to put a quick shake in there. I think you really need, I think you need some in there. Um, if you're not a big fan, just put a little bit in there. But I really think it's going to bring out some flavor. <clears throat> then I just have this stuff to get from the grocery store. It's their coleslaw mix. Give this a little toss around. And if you find any cores, please pick them out. Nothing's stupider than when you go out to eat and you get a salad for romaine and a big core in it, hidden under a leaf. They knew it was there. All right. The other thing that's really cool is if there's leftover of this, trust me, you just get some Fritos and you can just eat it. It's, it's fabulous. All right. And when you grow the, the portions to what I would make for like a large bowl of it, it, it you know, it, it's just as good. So that's what I'm going to actually, I'll put on the, uh, in the video. All right. I got a pan here. It's pretty darn, pretty darn hot. Let me go grab some stuff here. So I got myself, like I said, shrimp's expensive. This is just a trial. So I got three shrimp. They're really nice. Uh, pink shrimp are on sale. Love that. And I just have a little Cajun Creole seasoning, whatever you want. I just want something on there. Nothing else, it just gives a little color. up here. Perfect. So I got just a dab of olive oil on here, hopefully. There you go. Right on. So it's funny, sometimes uh, I put her like this in the kitchen to figure stuff out and uh, I don't want to waste a whole bunch of food. I mean that would be ridiculous. So we're just going to give that a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Set up the kitchen here. You want to get a little coating on the uh, shrimp, you know, you can flour them first. Uh, just put a little flour in with the seasoning and kind of dredge them. Mm. Alright, so for this, I think your soft taco size is what you want. Um, because it's, you know, it's, it's kind of usable, user friendly. If you want to go smaller for the taco because you've got a whole bunch of people over, that's fine too, okay? And you know, you're gonna find that um, either way it works really well. All right, <clears throat> Let me just double check. Yeah, shrimp cook pretty, pretty quick. So 
So what am I going to do? I'm going to take a little of my coleslaw. cheese. Just want to put a little bit on here. This is just a uh, Colby Jack. Use whatever you want. Just a little something. And I'm going to put some black olives because I just love whoa, the salty kind of nuttiness of them. They look pretty. All right, let me get my sauce. Keep it, keep it cold right till the last minute. And basically, we're just going to go. And I've already had this stuff. I make it for a lot of other things. I, mean, I just I love it so. All right, let me get rid of this. So we have all these flavors. And it just doesn't look great. I mean, we got we got a little spicy shrimp in there. We got some coleslaw with a little bit of heat to it. I got the cheese just to kind of chill it out. I got the black olives for the salty nuttiness of it. I mean everything's right in here to make it. And, and like I said, if, if you so desire you could make these smaller. But I think this just makes a real pretty little little taco. And um, I know this was kind of a quick one but I just thought it'd be fun to show you something. How my thought process works, how I put stuff together. Um, it wasn't really difficult because, like I said, I, I make fish tacos, but fish is kind of crazy expensive right now for anything decent. So I just thought it'd be fun to try something. And I think fish tacos, people expect it to be fried and breaded, and I don't like it that way. And, you know, this might be more kid-friendly. You've got kids um, at, your, at your gathering. Um, <clears throat> shrimp soy is a cool thing for them to eat. So anyway, like I always say, please subscribe. Please comment, ring that notification bell so you see all my videos, and I'll see you next time with another great video. Thank you.